in this video students i am going to talk about wonders of ants the wonder world of ants you know ants live in groups so we can call them as colonies ants live in colonies okay students as they live in groups we can call them as social insects social insects they have you know they have diversity in their workforce okay they have a different workforce among them and how the work is shared by them some ants uh, only deserve for uh, laying eggs and some ants for protection some ants for collecting and gathering the food and the foods storing the food like this you know we can call them as social insects and they are diverse they have diverse workforce okay they uh, like you know <coughs> and live in colonies or groups okay and what is the diversity of the workforce in ants you know some workers present and soldiers female and male see students workers they carry and stock food soldiers for protection females for male and female for reproduction okay they produce uh, eggs they they you know ants lay eggs okay right so male and female ants are responsible for reproduction in them okay right ants live in colonies that you remember and there is uh, you know diversity among the ants and uh, what is the diversity you know some ants or workers so some ants are soldiers some ants are female and some other ants are males okay students here some species of ants keep other insects like aphids for honey dew okay students uh this is the workforce of the ants which live in colonies social insects okay and here you can understand some ants some ants help the farmers as well how how do the ants help the farmers yes here ants eat the leaves cut the leaves into small pieces and make a bed on the earth surface as it becomes like a bed on the earth surface a special kind of fungus grows on the bed of the cut leaves of the different plants and that fungus acts as a natural manure for the crops and there may be more yielding for the farmers okay right like this the ants help them help the farmers okay students and here one thing that you have to write in your notebook what can we learn from ants you search somewhere you can search the answer for this question anywhere and write this in your notebook students okay you do it as a project work what can we learn from ants okay and here almost we have finished this lesson and the rest of the sections of the chapter like keywords and improve your learning sections that we will see just now
the keywords related to this chapter are keywords of the chapter let me write the keywords of the chapter first of all food habit food chain sucking picking chewing and habitat carnivores herbivores omnivores note it down in your notebook students nocturnal rumination students uh, let me give you brief uh, understanding of these keywords uh, right what is food habit you know the food the animals eat regularly is the food habit of that animal and what is food chain interdependence of the living things for their food and sucking you know uh, some living things like leeches and earthworms and snails they suck the food you know that they suckers are the body parts which help in collecting food or taking food some examples i said that leech leeches what is the food of leech blood okay now what is the food of earthworm and uh, what are the other living things they have suckers in their body for collecting their food here uh, i said only suckers are the body parts which help in collecting food in leeches earthworms snails and other living thing that that also has the suckers is butterfly okay you can see the diagram like you know this is the sucker okay or uh, there is another technical term you can search in your uh, somewhere anywhere it'll say the technical term i forget uh, sorry there is a technical term for this suckers in butterfly that i forgot now that i will you find it in your you know any source from any google or somewhere else okay so like this students uh <coughs> yeah what is picking picking like you know that picking up like hens pick grains on the ground and worms also okay uh, uh, the hens pick worms on the ground and grains on the ground and chewing 
chewing means using teeth and jaws okay chewing next habitat uh, the word that habitat and habit don't get confused habit is different habitat is different habit is the regular activity and habitat is nothing but a living place habitat is what a uh, living place habitat is the living place of any living thing for example fish live in water water is the habitat of fish okay and many uh, micro you know the some microorganisms live in the air air is the habitat that we can say that living things are living in different places the place where they are living is called habitat right next carnivores only flesh eating animals herbivores only plant eating animals omnivores both okay flesh and plants parts of plants omnivores next what are nocturnals the living things which come out only during nights for collecting their food okay rumination it's a process of it's a process of bringing the partly uh, digested food from the stomach to the mouth okay bringing the partly digested food from the stomach into the mouth again and again chewing and again swallowing is the rumination like cows camel goat sheep they chew like that okay they are ruminant ruminants the animals which follow rumination are called ruminants this is how we can understand the key words present in this lesson students almost the lesson is completed and the section of improve your learning of this chapter you see in the textbook and find answers to those questions students okay thank you for listening thank you one and all we will start new lesson in the next video okay bye bye